Greetings everyone, Irish Trekkie back with another model review, but this time we have a very familiar ship from QMX Mini Masters. Yes, we have the Planet Express ship from Futurama. As you can see, we have a Loot Crate uh, exclusive badge on this. Um, I picked this up in the Loot Vault sale over Christmas. It cost ridiculously little money, um, there was 70% off at the time. And I said, I've had my eye on this for a while. And um, I always wanted my own little Planet Express ship. So um, the packaging looks pretty good. Um, it looks to be a decent size. I think the, the model is going to be small enough, but that's fine by me. Um, but yeah, the packaging looks really cool. Um, in line with QMX, so I have the uh, Franklin from QMX as well. So it has a very similar, um, pretty much actually identical uh, base stand which connects on magnetically as well, which is actually pretty secure as well, which is a pretty cool little feature there. But um, yeah, the box itself is pretty nice. It's kind of like pop art. Uh, the future is today, and it's all around there. Pretty awesome. So um, let's actually have a look at this model, shall we? So here we have the ship. Um, looks pretty nice, actually. And um, the paint applications are pretty on point to be honest with you decals placement and quality look pretty good and the overall sculpt is nice it lends itself to the animated um style that we see in the cartoon itself but um all the key points are there and i love these real retro fins which look pretty pretty well placed they're thick enough so they wouldn't have really warped uh, during manufacture and then we have the engine here with this. There's always the kind of the blue dark matter glow that comes out of the engines as well. Um, close up on the turret, as you can see there is nice. The kind of, well, the defining line between the glass and the body, that blue and green. It's pretty good. A little bit of bleed just on the front and aft of it there as well. A little bit of blue just showing up there. But, you know, the windows are nice and bold. Um, they're painted on, or decaled on, uh, but there is sculpt around the cockpit there as well, which is all blued out, which is cool. Um, there is raised pieces here for the door and the back grills, but there's no definition there. They're all decals in there as well. And as you can see, the Planet Express emblem there, which is cool. There we have our magnetic points, our contact point. And then this is the runway, uh, the third leg. Um, I say third leg, you know, the, the, the landing leg, which uh, actually there should be two other little hatches actually back here because it doesn't land on the fins. There actually is three legs out of there. But that's the main kind of ingress, egress point for the ship itself. If I can get that in focus, there we go. And the kind of banner around the side is pretty good. You know, actually just... The overall paint app is pretty clean on this. Now the sculpt, though good, you know it's simple, but it lends itself to the stylings of the actual ship from the cartoon. So uh, let's see what it's like on the stand and uh, kind of wrap up this review. First look at this model. Not much to be said really about the detailing of it, but it just looks pretty nice. So there we go. It's on its mount, as you can see, magnet. Magnet, I, I, I said that funny. Magnet <laughs> attaches pretty fine. Um, and when it's on there, it's on there as well. Um, you have the QMX detailing just on the base of the plate as well. So future ever. Um, what year? 2016 as well. So not too far in the past, even though we're talking about a super future ship. But um, yeah, I actually like that. I'm very happy for the price I paid for it. I don't know what the normal uh, price of this would have been. But um, for 70% off, I was like, I'm having you. You'll be nice in the collection. So overall, I thought that was a pretty cool little ship from uh, Cube X Mini Masters. Very happy with it. Um, I think it's successful on all fronts. The sculpt, the paint apps, and the decal application as well. So um, yeah, if you're a future Amma fan, I think you'd be very happy with this little ship. But um, that concludes my little uh, review of this uh, fine addition to the fleet that I have. And uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, don't forget, you can support the channel by hitting the like and even subscribe button. Down below, 
And uh, listen, have a great rest of the day and thanks for stopping by. Take it easy. Bye-bye.